quicker flashbacks recall the days when the price of a movie was a nickel and still wasn't worth it. Handsome, popular Owen Moore, head of this poor but unhappy household, seems preoccupied. First, he almost forgot to kiss his child, and now he forgets and kisses his wife, Gertrude. This makes him feel even worse. It seems that Owen has the gambling bug and is up to his clavicle in debt. He squeezed the last dollar out of his wife, and she looks it. Owen reports to his office early tonight, determined to stake everything on his luck at cards. If he loses, perish for bid, he may have to go to work. Meanwhile, at home, who should be paying Gertrude a surprise visit but Filthy Frobisher, her brother, and the biggest beanbag tycoon west of the Catskills. Gertrude greets him like the long-lost meal ticket that he is. Now, Filthy spies the baby. He can hardly believe it's hers because she always wanted a pony. That's a fine way to wake a child out of a sound sleep. The child is taken out to the nursery, where she'll spend the rest of the evening unraveling the knots in her nervous system. And now Gertrude is free to tell Filthy Frobisher all about Owen's gambling mania. Frobisher, who was once the biggest card shark east of the Berkshires, has hit upon a plan to cure Owen, who's never met him, of gambling forever. He'll teach him a lesson by winning all of Owen's money, and so cure him of card playing, and possibly of eating at one and the same time. The game reaches a climax as Owen bets his all on this fateful hand. Filthy sees it, and the cards are displayed. Owen has a nifty pair of deuces, but Frobisher has one, two, three, four, five aces. What a hand. That'll teach him to try to fill an inside straight. Owen is wiped out as he staggers from the table, the blood flushing his cheeks. That's the first flush he's had tonight. Owen comes home completely broke. He can't even afford a chip on his shoulder. He tells Gertrude the sad news with gestures. And it's a tragic moment when the realization comes that he may have to go to work after all. But wait. There may be a way out. He's going to end it all. It might be a good idea to try it with bullets. explained to the satisfaction of nobody. Owen gets his money back, and if he hurries, he'll just be able to make the first race at Hollywood Park. So, peace and happiness reign supreme. And not only has Owen given up gambling forever, he's giving odds on it.